Welcome back to Ways Learning. What are we doing today? Well, today we're actually relocating a colony or trying to find a new home for a colony. Um, Meese Construction was putting in utility lines. They uh, knocked down this tree and they they post, post on Facebook and said, hey, would anybody come over and try to save this hive? So um, Adam and I, a buddy of mine, we uh, came over. We're going to take this nuke box. It's got old comb in it. It's got five frames in it. We're going to set it close to where the hive is, and then we're going to go through this tree piece by piece trying to find any comb we can save or honey or brood, put it in the box with some rubber bands, and then um, see if we can't get as many as we can um, to go into the nuke. Hopefully we can find the queen, but we will see. So there's pretty mangled tree, so we just kind of came in with a couple of chainsaws and kind of cut some... I guess you'd say observation holes so we could look and see what we were up against. Um, again, we're trying not to um, kill the queen or crush the queen. That's the whole goal is to find her. Because once you find the queen, the other bees are attracted to their her pheromones and they'll, they'll come to the box and they'll come to her. And so the key usually when you're relocating or moving a swarm to a box is you want to find the queen first, get her in, and then the other bees will follow. Sometimes you can't find the queen or sometimes she's you know, dead or gone, and so then you just kind of try to get as many bees in the box and hope it's a numbers game where the other bees kind of go, hey, where's everybody at? And then they move over, um, like the queen will eventually say, where's everybody at? Where's uh, everybody going? And then she'll eventually find the majority of them and move over to the box where you're trying to get them. But this tree obviously isn't salvageable, so we're just going through piece by piece looking for the queen, trying to save as many bees, and we'll take them over to the, the nuke box and dump them in there. And then, like I said, if we find any comb or honey, then we'll, um, food source will uh, strap that in with rubber bands to the frame so they can utilize that. Once they're in that nuke box, we're going to leave it for three or four days so that they can <clears throat> go out forage, get any honey or any uh, wax from the previous combs, try to use that resource, and that way we can send it with them. But there's a look inside the tree. Pretty big hive, um, but unfortunately they, they didn't realize the hive was in there, and so they kind of mangled the tree a little bit getting it down. So a lot of crushed comb, a lot of crushed bees uh, in there. This was probably a 8 foot by... Oh, 18 inches to 20 inch hive that's all through that um, tree and they've been in there for a long time. So we're just going to carefully go through that, shake some bees and see what we can find. So we carefully looked and we did not find the queen. So I don't know if she got crushed or she got scared when the tree collapsed and she, she flew away. Either way, the hive ended up being queenless. We were hoping that if we left the nuke box there, they would all move in there. And they did all move into the box, but the queen wasn't in there. So I moved it down in the middle of the night, came back after dark, put a piece of duct tape over it with air holes, got it in the car, drove the hive down there, and then... Um, set it with my other hive and I went through the box when I was down there just to make sure again that we didn't have a queen and then I ended up taking um, comb from my other hive that has a queen that was laying eggs and set that in the in the box to see if this hive would um, kind of raise their own queen and they did I, I went back a week later and they'd started making queen cups so it'll be another 21 days, but they should um, have a queen. Hopefully she finds her way out, gets mated, and then we'll come back and start laying eggs, and then they should be thriving. And once, once they need expansion, I'll move them over to a regular hive um, down there. But that's kind of the plan. So it was at least successful as far as saving those um, 1,500 to 2,000 bees. And um, like I said, hopefully they can make it and be thriving and be happy in the little bee yard I've created down here.